Two days ago, I uploaded a shocking video. In it, you can see Electra, a San Bernard. A San Bernard struggling to stand up. A San Bernard that is so emaciated that she can barely lift her head. A dog that is so weak that her muscles cannot even keep her tongue in place. The tongue is sticking out. San Bernards are one of the most beautiful and charismatic dog breeds. They are gentle giants. They are fluffy, they are noble, they are friendly, they are amazing with people, amazing with kids. And what we see here is one of those beautiful animals completely reduced to nothing. We don't know the life that Electra has had, but I can pretty much imagine the conditions in which she was living. A dog, very big. She was probably kept in, in a garden, in a yard, deprived of all human contact, barely fed, barely ever watered, never given any medical treatment. And so, as time passed, the dog started suffering, the dog started feeling sick and sicker and sicker, and the people that had him did nothing. I mean, this dog, when you look at her, when you look at her body, her entire history is there. It's que es hueso puro, eh? It's piel y hueso. lo que come? When I first saw her, I didn't even know she was in Saint Bernard. I mean, I thought she was a setter, some, you know, English setter, black and white. I don't know, so thin. She looked like a like one of these uh, side hounds, really. And then I paid attention, and I saw the massive head and I saw the massive pause, and I just couldn't believe it. I have never seen a dog in this condition in my entire life. Also after all these years rescuing, rescuing animals, I have never seen a San Bernard in this condition. Never, ever. <laughs> So we took her to the hospital. We put her in emergency care. Blood levels are a complete disaster. I mean, when you look at the analytics, you look at this and you say, well, this dog should be dead. But she's not dead, she's alive. She's fighting. We immediately gave her the full treatment, blood transfusion, antibiotics. We started pumping her with fluids started feeding her. My God, she's so hungry. She's so hungry. I wouldn't say she is so hungry. She's not so hungry anymore. But uh, because we fed her, we fed her well. But she has this angst when she sees food, she needs to eat because she hasn't been able to eat for so long. She's so thin that the fat in her eyes, in the back of her eyes, there's fat tissue. And that fat tissue has shrunk to the point that the eyes are not functional anymore. I tell you, I have never seen a dog in this condition. Never. And while she's feeling so sick, while she so desperately needed, needed help, She's basically looking at you, like, or looking at, she's just begging for help. And so kind, 
and at the same time, so kind. People at the hospital are in love with her because the way she walks, the way she moves, it's like you just wanna go on your knees and give her a hug. We were looking for a good name for her, a name that gave her energy, that gave her spirit, that gave her strength, and we call her Electra. Over the last couple of days, many of you have asked, how is she doing? Give us an update. Is she already healed? No, she is not already healed. She is in exactly the same position that she was two days ago. This is going to take some time until we start seeing some improvements. When you watch these videos, I need to ask you once again, these videos are live. This is happening right now. If you see a video yesterday of a dog sick, don't tell me, don't ask me for a conclusion the next day, because it's not like this. That's not how we work. Electra has just arrived to the hospital. She is in really, really bad shape, and we're doing our best, our best to heal her and to give her a shot, a shot at life, really. There's been some people that have written to me that would like to adopt her. We will look into it as time passes. Remember that she has leishmaniasis, which is a, is a, is a chronic condition uh, transmitted by a parasite. It's quite easy to, to, to treat and quite easy to deal with uh, if you have a good vet that knows the disease. And we're always willing to give assistance from here. But I tell you, right now, She's in terrible shape, in terrible shape. She's fighting to survive and she needs your help. Please have a look. This is Electra. Please donate. Help me save her. Thank you.